My name is Masi. I wanted to know from each individual, like, where do you guys draw your inspiration from? There's many different places. I, I personally, I like happy people. I like seeing people uh, do good things and, and do things that make them happy and make others happy. And I draw inspiration from, from, from just good vibes, really. Uh, yeah, just to piggyback off that, you know, just, just life in general, um, you know, just things like you go through and people you meet and, you know, different stories you hear and, you know, from an artist standpoint, other artists that have been doing it, you know, all of that inspires me, you know, just a love for the culture. So, um, from my side, it's just, it's just everything else, really. It's everything about life. It's, um, seeing people happy, it's when I'm sad, it's when I am the happiest. I find that I write better when I'm more sadder. I think I'm, I draw much inspiration from very deep emotions. When I'm happy, I sort of slack off a bit. So I think, um, yeah, it's, I think I use music as a therapy for myself. I think they've pretty much summed it up. It's just life in general, every life experience, everything that you go through, um, that's, that's what I write on. I'm not, a, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a rapper, but I think with the stuff that I've been involved in with hip hop, it's just been a love of the culture and how it is that it can bring different people together. Like I've just, that's what's always been for me with hip hop. It's just a love of the culture, and I love like reading like clever lines. I think it's like incredible. Like if I could do that, the world would be over. But I can't. Do that, so. um, hi, uh, here from Wiseman Radio. Um, <laughs> um, okay, so this is a kind of a heavy question, but um, Tabi, after we did the interview with you, a couple of people hit me up and they're like, I'm surprised that she's got a child. And what I found is the nicer the lyricist, especially in regards to being a female MC, the nicer you are with the lyrics um, and the less you like flaunt your sexuality and you actually focus on the lyrical aspects of being an MC, people tend to then box you in as being homosexual. There's nothing <laughs> wrong with being homosexual, but I've just found a lot of people coming like, I didn't know that Ntabi had a kid. Or, you know, like Rhapsody, like, you know, she, she, she's like, you know, she, she dates guys, and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> No, my, now this is the thing, I mean, because, because I've got the platform, this is what yeah. happens. A lot of people come up to me and they say, yeah. like, yo, dog, I didn't know. Yeah. And I'm saying, I'm sure you guys have had this before. And yeah. how do you guys feel? Because you're not a Nicki Minaj or Lil' Kim, and, you know, walking around in a bikini, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how do you guys handle that? No, I, I think this is what I was talking about earlier on. Um, I know I went through that whole tomboy phase where it was just cargoes and baggy stuff, you know, and, and it, it's, I understand why people would think, you know, you, you know, Liz, I, I don't play for that team. <laughs> but um, I think eventually you start, you start embracing your femininity, you start embracing the fact that you're a woman and, and that, that's going to bounce off you. People are going to start seeing that. But it just so happens that as soon as you tell people that you're, you're a woman and you rap, the first thing they think is that she's less. I don't know why, I don't, maybe, maybe it's because you actually spit proper, so they think girls, I don't, I don't know what it is, I don't know how we can solve it, but it doesn't affect me, man. Like, it really doesn't matter. It's, it, whether you think I'm lesbian, whether you think I'm straight, do you think my music is dope? <laughs> That's what really matters. Man, I don't know. <laughs> I don't get it, man. I was on Twitter and somebody saw the All Black Everything video and they were like, why do, why do female rappers always want to be like dudes? And I'm thinking like, all I had on was jeans and a jacket. You want me to be in a skirt? Like, would that make you feel better? <laughs> like, I don't, I don't really know what it is. Cause I, I, you know, I know some women that are, you know, very feminine and you know, they like other women. Like, I don't, I don't get the whole stereotype thing, you know, so I don't, you know, I just deal with it like I deal with people that are like, you're nice for a female MC. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I go by Cleo Ice Queen. Uh, first of all, I want to commend you guys and thank you guys for giving us the opportunity to come here. 
And I wanted to ask, like, as a female MC um, in today's time, it's a bit more than the music. It's like there's more to the music. It's not all about the music anymore. So what advice would you like to give to us to grow ourselves more as a brand? I'd say the first thing as a brand, um, just be yourself. Like there is nothing I can overemphasize than just being yourself. Like um, if you want, I, you look lovely. I love your dress. I saw you walk in. I love, yeah. Like if you want to be on that tip because that's, you look good and um, you don't, just don't sell yourself short. Don't fall under pressure. Don't try to please a certain crowd because there's little clicks in hip hop and some people are more in this sound and people, there's some elitists out there that I call them that think it should be this way and the way you're dressed is completely wrong from a female MC. I think do yourself at all times. That is the best advice I can give to anybody that wants to do it. Yeah, yeah. And just to add, sorry, to what Super was saying, it is like just about, you know, like really being yourself and not getting caught up in like, okay, this is the cool trend, this is the biggest artist, this is who I have to mimic, this is how I have to go. Decide that, you know, this is who we are, this is what, you know, what Ice Queen is all about, you know what I mean? And, and like, just focus on developing yourself. And obviously as time changes, you know, you'll evolve like as a person. So allow your music to evolve with you as a person and always be true to it. And in terms of like, brand like from a because I've been asked a lot of media questions I think it's, it's just like about you know being consistent and taking yourself seriously you know like like if you're gonna do if you're gonna make music then make sure that you you you, you are serious about it and don't do it like as a side thing you, you know what I mean like yeah. just be serious about it you know like a doctor is not like a doctor 10% of the time and then 90% yeah. it's like I'm like you're not operating on me you know so it's like just be consistent with it and just like take it seriously learn all that you can like learn as much as you can listen to stuff read up you know what I mean like read up on a lot of stuff that's happening and you particularly with you with hip-hop so read up listen to everybody people you love people you don't love you know find who it is that you are you know and and find a way of marrying your, your personal style your, your issues your life like everything about you and then you know then you have something unique to offer to the rest of the world when you when you you know when you bring everything together just just to add on to what Lee was saying when when you it's important to be very very comfortable whatever it is that you do because when you are comfortable you're more confident when you are being interviewed for instance you articulate yourself better you're more confident in studio you're more confident you're, it's, it's easier to perform something that you're more comfortable with if you get into studio and make music that you're not comfortable with and you dress in a way that does not really you know sit right with you then you won't really enjoy your career as a musician all that much so it's very very important to be very comfortable in who you are and can i sorry i just want to add on like one little thing as well um about branding and about trying to sort of find where you fit in um an example that i had i'm a very typical girl like all through i love heels makeup and skirts and short skirts cocktail dresses like <laughs> <Me> everything <too. laughs> So I found that um, at a certain era, like a certain time in the 2000s, 3s, 4s, 5s or whatever, I sort of, um, because people didn't take me seriously, like you can't be a rapper, you're, I heard like funny comments and then I felt the pressure to like, I remember one day there was a show we were doing in Hadfield. I actually had to go and like get cargo pants, I got a trucker cap, oh I, I got sneakers. I felt so uncomfortable because that is not me. If you're going to like me, you must like my music. Anything else that I do, if you've got a problem with that, that's fine. But yeah, just be true to yourself, really. I cannot overemphasize that. I'm Frank. Uh, I was just wondering, like, in terms of uh, modern, modern hip hop, uh, males the way they portray females in general, not female MCs only, but like females in general, how you guys feel about that? And so, you know, I get everything and, you know, I, a lot of my, you know, male brothers in the game, you know, they respect women, you know, they make positive songs about women. So it's a good balance for me. Um, you know, just like, we, like we, you know, we were talking about earlier, the thing that, you know, we're doing just to be, show a positive light is, you know, we're doing it now, just being artists and being ourselves and giving them something else to, to look at. You know, like they were saying, Nicki Minaj does Nicki Minaj thing, which is great. That's what she's happy doing. Happy doing. You know, I, I do my thing, or, you know, I'm more, more clothed or whatever. That's what I'm happy doing. So just, just balancing the game, you know, yeah. I think. If I, I think like, you know, I feel it's like, 
on one hand, I think that hip hop takes the rap for a lot of what's happening in society, just because people are a lot more vocal, you know? So I think it's like, as much as you're gonna say in videos, like women are portrayed a certain way, I can mention a million advertising campaigns where it's the same thing. Yeah. But nobody's gonna say anything because like there's a big brand paying for it and that's it, you know? So I think that it's like, and it goes back to what I was saying before, that hip hop always reflects what's going on in life, unfortunately. I think the woman here will also know, like you guys know some of those girls who are in the videos, they want to be there. I'm not going to fight the... Am I lying? It's like, that's their life goal. I'm not going to fight. It's like, listen, you want to... Then do what you're going to do, you know? It's, 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 it's about that. And I think it's like, in terms of the way that, as a woman, like, you know, for me, like, the way that I would... When, when I was doing like a lot with hip hop and everything was just always like it's like just respecting yourself people are going to treat you the way that you're going to treat yourself do you get what I'm saying?